Now that you've learned how to digitize data into the empty parcel shapefile you created, you learn how to modify an existing shapefile. So I've set up QGIS Desktop with the aerial photograph and the streets layer. The streets layer is from the city of Albuquerque, and you can see that for the most part it's representing the roads well that you can see on the photograph, but we're zoomed into an area here where there's one main road that's not represented in the streets layer. So to begin, I'm going to go to my snapping options. So again, I'll go to the settings menu, choose snapping options, and the snapping options window opens. I'm in the advanced mode here, and I'm going to keep snapping set for netcur, the streets layer, and I'm going to keep the mode as two vertex, but I want to enter a snapping tolerance of 20 map units. And this roads layer is in state plain New Mexico Central, which has coordinate units of feet. So the map units here are feet, so we're setting a tolerance of 20 feet. And I'll click OK. Now I'll right click on this layer and choose toggle editing. And you'll see the, the pencil show up indicating that this is in edit mode now. And I'll use the add feature tool. And one thing you'll notice is that the tools on this editing toolbar will change slightly depending on the geometry of the vector layer you're editing. When you were editing the parcels polygon layer, the add feature tool had a polygon icon on it. Now that we're editing a line layer, the add feature tool has a line symbol on it. So that will change as the geometry changes. So I'm going to use this add feature tool. and I'll digitize the new road. I'm going to start up here at this intersection and you can see that I'm snapping to that vertex and then I'll just start left clicking to add this new road and then snap to this final point right click to complete the line. This layer has quite a few data columns in it so I'm just going to enter a few key ones. I'll make this long so I can see them all. So for the street name I'm going to enter park, street designation, place, street quad, southeast, and under comments I'll enter lab 5 and I'll click OK. In this lab you've successfully digitized information using the five-step digitizing process. Additionally, you've recreated the original source data scanned as a raster in the vector format. So remember to do that, you geo-reference the scanned image, putting it into coordinate space, and you then digitize the parcels off of that, creating new data. So digitizing can be a time-consuming and tedious process but it can yield very useful geographic information.